And it's another little danger of having another camera in your house and having another point of contact where your privacy is put at risk. Because here's the thing. I think the reason that we generally don't care too much, like when we're confronted with it, we say, oh yeah, we, I, I don't like being spied on. I don't like how people can tune into my smartphone whenever they want and do all these things. But in practice, we keep the smartphones and stuff around. That's one reason why I have the Blackberry, because I figure at least they got to try. They, they got to dust off the old floppy disk and insert that to hack into this bad boy. So they got to put some effort in. But I think it's a similar thing where humans, we can't conceive of things that aren't, you know, immediately there for us, you know? Like, we can count the ten fingers, and you can imagine maybe a room of a hundred people, maybe a stadium of a few thousand. But once it gets to a million, it's hard to tell the difference between a million and a billion. Our brains just aren't designed for it. I think it's a similar thing with this spying technology in that if there was someone who stuck a microphone in our room and they fed a little cord and they attached it to your pocket and they were just looking out, looking inside, hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. listening in, then we'd be like, get, get out of here. What do you think? Boy, we'd be very annoyed. Or if someone came into our house, put a little camera in the corner, Put a little camera there, wherever you use your smartphone, on the toilet, put a camera there. Yeah, camera here, why not? And then they're outside with a little monitor, going, oh, oh yeah, man. Then we'd have a problem. I don't think anyone would like that. Someone in their backyard having a look in. I wouldn't mind, yes. Not the time. Not the time. Yes, uh, please, I'm trying to use my, my toilet cam here. I don't, don't, don't want anyone looking. All right. But that's the problem because it's all digital. We don't know whether people are watching. It's not immediately visible to our human brains. We don't care about it. Whereas the crazy stuff they're doing with our data and activating the cameras whenever they want, whether it's government or hackers, it is happening. Or even family and friends now with that new Apple hack. Everyone's listening in. Privacy is dead. And even though all these devices and cameras and microphones can connect all at the same time, whenever they want, I can't use that same technology to have a solid stream. I can't do it even when I'm trying. And that's what gives me hope. The incompetence of the authorities and the such. Because even if... Pretty much every company leaks your passwords and emails. They're always getting hacked and breached. Hopefully, everyone is incompetent so that the people trying to hack it are as incompetent as the people who have been hacked. That's our only